Good morning. I now invite uh, incoming Vice President and President um, Dylan Markulix and Whitney Critchfield to the stage. Good morning. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the honor code. We, as members of the Pine School, agree to uphold the core values of respect, responsibility, honesty, and equality. We agree to always serve as supportive role models to our school community. Thank you, Whitney and Dylan. Good morning, students, parents, faculty, and staff, and welcome to the Pine School's Academic Excellence Assembly. We gather this morning to honor the achievements of our students throughout what has been a very successful school year. There is much to celebrate in the classroom and in student leadership. However, before we recognize our students' successes, there's another accomplished group we need to acknowledge today, our Pine School faculty. My colleagues have remained flexible and creative this year as we've navigated challenges big and small. Students, your teachers have encouraged your active engagement honored your voices, and continued the tradition of academic excellence we expect from Pine students. My sincere gratitude goes out to our faculty today and every day. Students, I hope you have the opportunity before the school year is out to thank them. Can we give them a round of applause right now? <laughs> Additionally, I would like to thank the guests with us this morning. It is an incredible gift to give your child an independent school education. Parents, families, and friends, thank you. Thank you so much for valuing education and for supporting our mission with your commitment to the Pine School. We are fortunate to partner with you, and we are glad that we can now be here together to celebrate our students. While we all like to receive recognition for our hard work, Pine's faculty and administration have worked diligently to define what and whom we will honor in our assembly today. Often, this goes beyond simply getting a good grade, and it encompasses traits such as great passion, in-depth inquiry, and unwavering dedication to a subject. Regardless of whom we acknowledge, we all elevate each other with our collective commitment to learning. Seniors, savor this day as it is yet another opportunity for us to celebrate your achievements this year and throughout upper school. For the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors here, this is another step on the path through your high school journey at the Pine School. To begin our program today, I would like to invite Amelie Galbraith, class of 2024, and editor of Physis, the literary magazine of the Pine School, to help recognize the contributors in this year's edition. With a mission-based commitment to honoring each student's voice, it is incredible to see such a strong collection of writing and art. Thank you, Mrs. Gaffrey. Good morning. One wonderful aspect of our school's learning environment is the gray area where academics cross over into the arts. In this assembly, we will see a snapshot of the academic excellence exhibited by our student body. But from working on the magazine this year, I've also been able to discover the space where intellectual thinking and creative ideas blend together. As we come out of a two-year lull due to COVID, I think it's important to recognize the artists and writers of the 2022 edition of The Physis. We encourage anyone to put out their work, whether it's artistic, academic, or through physis, which just happens to represent both spheres. The word physis comes from the Greek word for nature and refers to something that becomes or develops, something ever-changing. Literature perfectly encompasses this word because writing is always shifting in the hands of the reader. Words change when you read them at different times or when you see their meanings in a new light. The literary magazine should flow the same 
the same way as you flick through it. It should be an example of this physis to the reader. So if the following students could come and collect their copies of the magazine to be recognized for their work this year. Um, Shel Shelby Karlstrom. <laughs> Genevieve Waters. <laughs> Kaziah Anderson. Audrey Foley. Carter Polachek. <laughs> Juliet Patterson. Julia Kerr. Zoe Berry. Amanda Grobman. Bella Crestel. Ryan Lynch de Oliveira. Whitney Critchfield. Bella Tansillo. Brennan Troop. Keely Maida, Celia Wilson, Kat Villano, John Sexton, Lily Colonies, Kendall Ika, Hannah Squire, and Madeline Restino. you did not hear, uh, additional copies of FISIS will be available during yearbook signing this afternoon if you would like to get your own copy. Um, at this point, I would like to spend some time recognizing some of our seniors that have achieved um, accomplishments throughout the year. The first is our AP scholars. The College Board's AP program has specific scholar recognition for students who have successfully earned passing scores on multiple AP exams. We would like to take a moment to recognize the following scholars for these achievements. These students have earned these awards based on all AP's exams taken prior to this year. So we won't find out how you did until July for this year. AP Scholar is granted to students um, who receive, receive a three or higher on three or more AP exams. The following seniors have earned this recognition. Please stand when I call your name. Michael Boyd. Danny Eide, Mitchell Fahey, Keely Mater, Simon Ross, Charles Thompson. AP Scholars with Honor is granted to students who receive an average of 3.25 on all AP exams taken. The following seniors have earned this recognition. Angelina Agrillo. <laughs> Michael Diagidio. <laughs> Reese Slater. And Celia Wilson. AP Scholars with Distinction is granted to students who have re received an average score of 3.5 on all AP exams taken. The following seniors have earned this recognition. Andre De Silva. <laughs> Kendall Eaker. John Sexton. <laughs> Hannah Squire. and Kat Villano. Congratulations. Every year, juniors across the country take the PSAT and can be recognized by the National Merit Scholarship Program for meeting the qualifications of the program. This year, based on his PSAT score and academic performance, Andre Da Silva was recognized as a National Hispanic Scholar. Let's hear for Andre. Additionally, one of our seniors was named a National Merit Scholarship reci recipient. This recognition was awarded to only 2,500 winners from a pool of over 1.6 million students that took the initial exam. Join me in congratulating Hannah Squire for this tremendous accomplishment.
I now welcome Mr. Kelly Hilton Green to continue our recognition of the class of 2022. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, our upper, student, upper school students, faculty, administrators uh, had the pleasure of listening to our seniors give their presentations for their senior capstone. As usual, we had a variety of projects that seniors were involved in this year. I'm happy to say that all seniors completed their projects and passed. Congratulations. In addition, the following received honors recognition for their projects. Izzy Bongino, Leukemia Lymphomia Society. Michael, please stand to be recognized. Michael Boyd, Boyd Detailing. Selena Budd, Colon D Podcast. Lily Colonies, Make a Difference for Reading. Andre de Silva, Keratoconus Awareness. Michael Diagidio, Removal of Exotic Species in the Preserve Area. Danny Eide, Artifacts. Keely Maida, Save the Manatees. John Sexton, Colin D. Podcast. Hannah Squire, Study CRISPR, Gene Editing Applications. And last, I'd like to also congratulate Jake Schoonmaker and the senior parents for their flash mob parent dance. Sorry, I got, yeah. Apologies, three more to go on the, the next page. Charles Thompson, History of Stonington. Simon Ross, Model UN at Pine, and Cat Bellano, Mangrove Conservation. Now I invite Mr. Carlson to continue our recognition. As the seniors have already completed their academic year, we recognize our class of 2022 honor roll recipients today. The remaining students in upper school still have a week, so finish strong. Therefore, honor roll recipients in other grades will uh, be recognized early in the fall semester. First, here are the names of the faculty honor roll recipients for seniors who have no individual class below a 3.5. Izzy Bongino. Come up. Lily Colonies. Chavi Shado. Andre Da Silva. Joshua Lacourt. Jasmine Urena. And Charles Thompson. Those are our faculty honor roll recipients for seniors. The head of school honor roll recognizes students who have no individual class below a 4.0, which we know is very challenging for second semester seniors. Angelina Agrillo. Hold on, she's tying her shoe. <laughs> Michael Boyd. <laughs> Selena Budd. <laughs> Michael Diagidio. <laughs> Kendall Eaker. Mitchell Fahey, <laughs> Kat 
Rain Highland. Keely Mater. John Sexton. Reese Slater. Hannah Squire. Kat Villano. And Celia Wilson. Our head of school honor roll for our seniors. At this time, we will present our department-specific awards. In addition to an award for each grade, there will be one overall award voted on by the teachers in each department to recognize a student who has truly gone above and beyond in that subject. To begin, I invite our English department chair, Mr. Greg Squire, to announce his departmental recognitions. Thank you, Mr. Carlson. Good morning, everyone. To begin with, I'd like to recognize three flourishing writers who were recognized by the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards this year. Amanda Grodman received an honorable mention in Critical Essay. <laughs> Sorry. High five. Amelie Galbraith and Bella Crastle each received a silver key and honorable mention in poetry. Congratulations. Now for the departmental awards. For the ninth grade, her teacher writes, whether in her essays, contributions to discussion, or visual designs and diagrams, Madeline McElroy has demonstrated an enthusiastic engagement with the readings that is comprehensive in its analytic scope and often sparkles in its creativity. Madeline McElroy. No. <laughs> yes, you can come up. And for 10th grade, Let's do it this way. Amelie Galbraith, come on up. <laughs> Amelie has steadfastly curated and commandeered the Pine School Literary Journal, Physis, as you saw, through another year, garnered several scholastic awards for her poetry submissions, and genuinely shown herself to be an astute, analytic, and creative writer with an enthusiastic appreciation for the intricacies of the written word. Congratulations, Amelie. And for the 11th grade, this student has a deeply personal and real relationship with language. He thinks deeply about his words and the people that they affect. I look forward to an adventure of having him in AP Literature next year. The 11th grade student is Aidan Skelly. And for the 12th grade, this student genuinely loves learning, and I know it because I've seen it for three years, and has embraced the challenges of far-reaching literature. He has a very keen ear and an analytical mind. It will be fun to see his accomplishments in the years to come. For 12th grade, Danny Eide. And the Pat Stewart Award. Pat Stewart, a friend of mine and a legendary Pine English teacher who loved a good story, especially a tale of adventure. Herself, a surfer, sailor, diver, and angler, 
Pat was married to a true waterman. Her life is an adventure. Here at Pine, she shared her love of life in her teaching. A fan of the Alaskan Iditarod, Miss Stewart followed the wilderness race yearly with her transfixed students. For me, she's a sort of Hemingway. Because Miss Stewart loved a good yarn about courage and adventure and the people who had them both, she would, I know, approve of this year's Pat Stewart Award winner, Charles Thompson. And now I'd like to introduce the History Department Chair, Mr. Nathaniel Osborne. Good morning. Of our winning freshman, Dr. Vickers writes, when I first met this ninth grader, his enthusiasm for history, world events, and exploration really struck me as remarkable. The depth of his knowledge, combined with genuine intellectual curiosity, belies his youth. Israel Morales is a talented freshman historian. Sophomore class, while not the most outspoken member of the AP World History class, the student's historical writing is adept and intriguing and have led some to very joyful grading this year. The student's grasp of the content is second to none, based on contributions to class discussions and an ability to recall minute details with ease. The 10th grade history award goes to Bella Crestel. For the junior class, we celebrate a student who warms you up with a bit of dry wit, perhaps a small smile, or more like a smirk, always followed by a cunning, perceptive, and sometimes piercing insight. This is how Marin Rubenstein slices and dices the documents that are the bread and butter of the historical field. Come on down. In the senior class, this senior is keen, an intuitive learner with stellar critical thinking skills. He possesses a mature and savvy understanding of history and the social sciences more broadly. This morning, we celebrate the intellect and wit of John Sexton. And for our highest award, our Hugh Willoughby Award, which is named for a local Renaissance man. This award is reserved for the senior student who has exhibited a thirst for historical and social science knowledge throughout their four years at the Pine School. In addition to strong academic performance, the student embodies the ideals of the history department, most notably demonstrating an inquisitive mind challenging historical perspective, and completing detailed research. For his sweep of the humanities departments, I welcome Charles Thompson.
What a good looking bunch. Congrats to you all. All right, I invite math department chair Tamara Litterick. Good morning. The ninth grade math award goes to a student who has demonstrated exceptional algebraic skills and has shown outstanding work ethic throughout the year. This student is thoughtful in the connection she makes between mathematical topics quick to grasp new concepts, and takes initiative to dive deeper into the lesson. This award goes to Genevieve Waters. Both in and out of the classroom, this student is always willing and eager to help her peers when they face a mathematical challenge. In small group and whole class discussions, this student often takes the lead, asking thought-provoking questions and making deeper connections. Her perseverance and positive attitude exemplify why she is deserving of this award. The 10th grade award goes to Zoe Berry. The 11th grade math award goes to a student who is intrinsically motivated to figure out new and challenging math concepts. He combines a key mathematical mind, exceptional problem solving skills, and a desire for a deeper, deeper level of understanding to create a foundation of success. This award goes to Henry Alexandruscu. Having mastered two AP Calculus courses, this student exemplifies all characteristics of a gifted math student, taking on new mathematical challenges with persistence and confidence. Often in class, you will see him jump up, head to the board, and explain his thinking to his peers. This award goes to Michael Diagidio. Euler's Award of Achievement. Born in the 1700s, Lauren, Leonard Euler is credited with many of the notations, proofs, and theorems we still use today in mathematics, many of which were derived in his last two years of life when he was completely blind. The Euler's Award of Achievement recognizes a student who never gave up, persevered, and ultimately became a very successful math student. This year, this award goes to a student who has shown tremendous growth in math confidence, working hard every day in class, always willing to help others in their difficulties, facing new challenging topics head on. He absolutely rocked AP Calculus this year. This award goes to Rain Highland. I would now like to introduce um, the head of the science department, Dr. Carolyn Bogowski. Thank you, Ms. Litterick. Good morning. We'll start with our ninth grade award recipient. This student has demonstrated a love for science from day one. They are highly inquisitive and raises the bar for their peers. The student has been creative in their projects and has consistently taken the lead during group lab assignments. In addition, this student actively seeks out opportunities to further their understanding and application of science in the real world. This year's ninth grade recipient is Lucas Da Silva. For 10th grade, 
This student demonstrated unwavering passion for science throughout the year. Our 10th grade recipient has an impeccable work ethic and commitment to excellence and is always setting the example for their peers. When presented with more challenging and fun problems that might stump others, this student worked tirelessly to find a solution and help others along the way. This year's 10th grade science award recipient is Amanda Grodman. Our 11th grade, this student not only loves science, they love learning in general. Our 11th grade recipient is intrinsically motivated, asks curious questions, and has been a leader amongst their peers during group work. They have demonstrated excellent critical thinking skills and has consistently shown a humble willingness to help their peers analyze data and understand concepts at a deeper level. This year's 11th grade science award recipient is Whitney Critchfield. for our seniors. This student has always demonstrated a high level of curiosity in science. They look for connections between science and other disciplines because they understand how grasping those connections helps them make sense of the scientific concepts studied in class. You can always tell that they are trying to figure things out on their own, demonstrating a high level of motivation. During labs and other hands-on investigations, this student can be counted on not just to contribute to the group's effort, but provide the kind of leadership needed to make sure the work gets done well. This year's 12th grade Science Award recipient is Celia Wilson. Our department award is the Jonas Salk Award. Dr. Jonas Salk was a brilliant clinician who stood out from his peers, not just because of his academic prowess, but because his desire to enter medical research instead of becoming a practicing physician. This award bearing his name recognizes the students selected not only for their academic prowess in the sciences undertaken, but also for a continuing demonstrated persistence. Hard questions would be repeatedly posed in order to have a deeper understanding of the material under consideration. Knowledge and understanding is this student's objective. The recipient of this award is a student who always demonstrated the highest level of commitment to their work. No matter the assignment, they always put forth their best effort and made sure that what they do is the best. This student is self-motivated and always has interesting facts to share in the class. Their love of science and dedication to learning make them the most deserving recipient of this award. This year's Jonas Salk Award winner is Hannah Squire. And now I'd like to welcome our World Languages Department Chair, Senora Stevens. Good morning. To begin with our ninth grade Spanish award, in the words of Dr. Ramirez, this young woman has shown herself worthy of this award Thanks to her devotion as a student, excellent attitude as a classmate, and commendable performance in learning a foreign language, the ninth grade Spanish award goes to Sofia Sedelnik. For the 10th grade, we are honored to recognize this student's hard work, diligence, and passion for second language learning. She is a clear example of how responsibility and creativity complement linguistic virtue. Congratulations, Amanda Grodman.
for the 11th grade. This student consistently maintained one of the highest averages in our most advanced Spanish course, AP Spanish Language and Culture, as a junior. Her intense work ethic, commitment to learning Spanish, and active participation in La Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica make her a natural choice for this award. Congratulations to Brennan Troop. For our 12th grade, this young woman's thoughtful analysis of and artfully crafted responses to AP prompts and class discussions have earned this student a reputation of being highly effective at communicating. Congratulations to our 12th grade Spanish award winner, Kat Villano. <laughs> Referred to as the apostle of Cuban independence, Jose Marti was a highly educated poet essayist, revolutionary philosopher, journalist, translator, professor, and publisher who became the symbol for Cuba's independence from Spain in the 19th century. He is a national hero and an important figure in Latin American culture and literature. From his Versos Sencillos, Simple Verses, the song Guantanamera was adapted as the definitive patriotic song of Cuba. His writings reflect his exemplary life, his kindness, his love of liberty and justice, and his deep understanding of human nature. The winner of the Jose Marti Award consistently exceeded my and his classmates' expectations. From fully embracing the characters from our novel in dramatic fashion, and spontaneously, oh, excuse me, and his spontaneous yet profound Marti-esque reflections in class discussions and debates, the unquestionable recipient of this award is Michael Boyd. Congratulations to our Spanish Award winners. For our ninth grade French, from day one in French class, this person has displayed intellectual curiosity and a real grasp of the language, asking many pertinent questions that helped him and his peers get a deeper understanding of this new language and culture. Felicitations, Monsieur John Widener. For 10th grade, even without his laptop, this person knows a lot about French language and culture. He has made tremendous progress this year when he finally clicked to understand how to assemble all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle of Le Français. Always eager to help others and a great addition to the classroom, Félicitations, Monsieur Jack Meats. For 11th grade French, this person has managed to successfully combine a demanding sports schedule for his soccer and lacrosse with high academic expectations. He is always ready for class, eager to learn and share his knowledge with others. He is creative and curious and has progressed a lot in his six years with Madame Hay. Felicitation, Dylan Markulix. The Antoine de Saint-Exupéry Award. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry was a French writer, poet, philosopher, and aviator who distinguished himself as one of the pioneer pilots of the Aeropostale, the first ever airmail service. Saint-Exupéry's flying experience and reflection ex inspired him to write several world-acclaimed books, among which was The Little Prince, a philosophical tale which has been translated into more than 300 languages. 
Saint-Exupéry combined the talent of a great writer with courage, resilience, and a sense of adventure, which are still a reference and an inspiration for today's youth. Respect, responsibility, gratitude, generosity, perseverance, caring, honesty, resilience. This student personifies all of our school characters' traits in French class. She keeps on trying and never gives up. Her outstanding interpersonal skills make her an invaluable person in our classes, and one on whom you can always count to help out with a smile. Madame Hay says, having witnessed your effort, grit, and progress, I believe that you truly deserve this award, Aubrey Williams. Congratulations to our French winners. I would now like to invite Mr. Steve Nauman, Chair of the Art Department. All right, good morning. Uh, first off, we're going to start with our instrumental awards. For ninth grade, this student is in several performance groups here at Pine. They have been in honor band and competed at solo and ensemble for several years. Please congratulate our ninth, ninth grade instrumental award winner, Luke Altschuler. Our 10th grade instrumental award recipient, uh, his, his teacher says, this student uses his talents to add to every band that he plays in. He has been to several honor bands and solo ensembles. Congratulations, Mr. Jack Meads. A huge part of every performing group at Pine, this student took the time to step into the Knights of Steel for every show and competition to help them be at their best. He also earned an excellent rating at solo and ensemble this year. Congratulations to the 11th grade instrumental award winner, Mr. Josh Wood. And this student has always had music in her heart. She played with the band as many years as she was able, attending honor bands, heritage competitions, and solo on ensemble. She will be missed in jazz band next year, especially congratulations, Ms. Hannah Squire. The Ernie and Helen Berlin Performing Arts Award is the highest award given to the graduating senior who has consistently demonstrated high achievement in the performing arts throughout his, his or her career as a Pine School student. This student had consistent schedule challenge throughout their time in Knights of Steel, from taking private lessons outside of school to attending class with fifth graders, even taking Pan as an independent study. This student showed what dedication and perseverance means. His, musical, his musicality and talent has lifted the group to new levels. The Ernie and Helen Berlin Award for Excellence in Performing Arts goes to Ethan Brooks. Okay, we have a couple of national uh, awards here. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award honors the outstanding jazz musician at each high school. Only one Louis Armstrong Jazz Award may be awarded every year. This student has a love of music that is evident to everyone around him. His talent has earned the band several awards, and he personally has earned superior ratings at solo and ensemble. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award goes to Andre De Silva.
the John Philip Sousa Award. To honor the top student in the high school band, the John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. Only one John Philip Sousa Award may be awarded each year. This student doesn't play a typical band instrument, but her dedication to the band program over the years has transformed the program. Her ability to play solos and with the group made it possible for her to perform in every group the Pine School has offered. Congratulations, Madeline Restino. All right, and for the Visual Arts Awards now, we would like to take uh, a moment to uh, recognize the following students who participated in Scholastic Art Awards this year. If you would stand and be recognized for your honorable mentions this year, Kazaya Anderson, Brooke DeGeorge, and Amanda Grodman. Congratulations. Our ninth grade visual arts award. This student has a natural talent for art and consistently goes above and beyond what is expected of them. Their can do attitude never faltered, no matter the project that was thrown at them. From perfectly rendered still lifes to patchwork pants to handbound books, their creativity and skill have made them a shining example of upper school art in the Pine School. We all look forward to seeing where her creative journey will take her next year. Congratulations, Tyra Othman. In 10th grade, this student has a passion for photography that shines through in every piece they produce. Their consistent dedication to learning and creating these past two years in art have been a joy to watch. This year, their creativity blossomed and their skills strengthened, resulting in a portfolio of work that rivals that of many upperclassmen. This student is a wonderful representation of the Fine Arts Department at the Pine School. Congratulations, Kaziah Anderson. For 11th grade, this student has continually gone above and beyond expectations, impressing their peers, teachers, and visiting artists alike. This student has spent countless hours researching ideas and exploring alternative ways to expand their creative output. This student has dedicated their energy to developing new ways to make work and represent our fine arts department with the highest esteem. Congratulations, Brett Sarsha. For 12th grade, this student has worked tirelessly this year to create a portfolio of work that is both deeply meaningful and technically well executed. In addition to their artistic endeavors, their commitment to the school and fine arts department was clear through their commitment to resurrecting the National Art Honor Society and the beautification of a number of spaces on campus. The Pine School and the department will be losing a valuable member when he graduates this year. Congratulations, Mitchell Fahey. the Digital Art Award this year. At the beginning of the school year, this student described themselves as not artistic, only to go on and represent the Pine School at the Marvin S. Cohn High School Juried Art Show among 60 of the area's other top art students. This student has continually gone above and beyond in every respect to produce top quality work that is driven by their creative curiosity. We're also excited for the great things on the horizon as this student continues their creative journey. Congratulations, Sydney Schreier.
and for our publication award this year. Without this student, there would be no yearbook this year, or at least it wouldn't be complete. There'd be a lot of blank pages. This student has proven their commitment to the school over and over again through their dedication to making sure that all, making sure that you all have an amazing, comprehensive, and beautiful yearbook to celebrate all that was awesome about the 2021-22 school year. I'm happy to say that this student has committed to ending their high school career next year by continuing to be a driving force on the yearbook staff. Thank you and congratulations to Brennan Troop. Congratulations to all of our visual art recipients. And I would like to welcome back Mr. Kelly Hilton Green. Our student government system is in place to allow for student representation and to afford student leaders the opportunity to, to engage in meaningful discussions and leading our student body. This year, our student leaders have served our school community with contributing to many aspects of student life, admissions, athletics, and the arts. At this time, I'd like to recognize our outgoing leaders and thank them for their service to the Pine School and their peers. When I read your name out, please stand and be recognized. Reese Slater, Hannah Squire, <laughs> Selena Budd, Simon Ross, Kat Bellano, Michael Diagidio, and John Sexton. Thank you so much for your service and dedication throughout this year. You all leave the student government in a stronger position than when you found it. We recently concluded our elections for the representatives for the class of 2023, and they've already begun those. The following students, and I'd ask you again to stand to be recognized, uh, were put through their paces and were voted into office by their peers and faculty. I'd also like to congratulate our student leaders who were selected to represent the student body for the next school year. President Whitney Critchfield, <laughs> Vice President Dylan Markulix, <laughs> Ambassador Julian Restrepo, <laughs> Athletics Brennan Troop, Arts Fiona Ankrum, and Student Life Marin Rubinstein. We look forward to having our freshman, sophomore, junior class elections in the fall. Please look out for that. On to Community Achievement Awards. The Community Achievement Award is given to students in the upper school who embrace all parts of the program, especially in supporting his or her fellow classmates throughout the year. The recipients of these awards are characteristically an inspiration to both students and faculty, are highly self-motivated, self-directed in both inspiring and maintaining a sense of community in the upper school. They are students who have a positive attitude while at school, are involved in multiple extracurricular activities, and they have played a role in building a strong sense of pride in our school and within their grade. I'd like to call these students up. Ninth grade, Lily Christel. Tenth grade, Aubrey Williams. Eleventh <clears throat> grade, Fiona Ankrum. And 12th grade, Selena Budd. Yeah. 
I'd like to welcome back Mr. Sean Carlson to carry on our program. The Academic Achievement Award is given to the student who took their study in the upper school this year well beyond the aspect of a GPA. This award signifies a student who has a genuine love of learning, one who demonstrates a passion for all subjects and very characteristically takes their inquiry to the next level, including a seriousness of purpose, adding contributions to each class, and demonstrating sophistication of thinking, always able and willing to move beyond the concrete into the abstract. The ninth grade Academic Achievement Award goes to Isabella Adler. The 10th grade Academic Achievement Award goes to Zoe Berry. <laughs> the 11th grade Academic Achievement Award goes to Whitney Critchfield. And the 12th grade Academic Achievement Award goes to Kat Villano. <laughs> I now turn it back over to Mrs. Caffrey for our final announcements uh, and recognitions and awards. Thank you, Mr. Carlson. The Pine School is fortunate to have several merit-based tuition scholarships to award to upper school students. Thanks to the efforts of community members who raise funds through Pine's annual event, 100 Years of Cars, the Pine School Patriot Scholarship is available to students who are the children of veterans or United States military personnel and are eligible for admission to or already attend the Pine School. Our current Patriot Scholars are Ryan Antidomenico and Andrew Galdis. Next year, Aurora Phillips will be joining this fall's freshman class as a Patriot Scholar. Let's congratulate them. The Cole Walker Posey Scholarship was created and funded by family and friends to honor the life of Cole Walker Posey, a member of the class of 2015. We are proud to name rising ninth grader Ethan Murray as next year's Posey Scholar. Congratulations, Ethan. Our last merit scholarship is the Pine Scholarship, which has been awarded to both new and returning students in the rising ninth grade class since 2008. Pine Scholarship winners must be capable of exceptional academic work, have a strong track record of achievement, and distinguish themselves in the arts, athletics, community service, and leadership. This merit award continues until the recipient graduates from the Pine School. To compete, students take a scholarship exam, the PSAT 8-9, submit a resume detailing their activities and achievements, and go through an interview and selection process with our external Pine Scholarship Committee. Current Pine Scholars, will you please stand and be recognized? Class of 2022, John Sexton and Hannah Squire. <laughs> Class of 2023, Marin Rubenstein and Brennan Troop. <laughs> Class of 2024, Zoe Berry and Aubrey Williams. Class of 2025, Lucas De Silva and Amber Dunlap. Thank you, Pine Scholars. Even though our newest Pine Scholars are not with us at this assembly, I would still like to announce them at this time, and we'll do so again at next week's middle school awards assembly. For the class of 2026, Annalise Domes, excuse me, Annalisa Domes will join us in the fall from Bach Middle School as our external Pine Scholar. 
The Pine Scholarship for our current eighth grade class will be shared by Fripp, Stringfellow, and Ty Shoppy. Congratulations to our noon Pine Scholars. Now, it is my distinct pleasure to recognize a group of students whom we have known and watched grow and mature at the Pine School for their entire academic career. Would the following students please come up and join me on the stage? Michael Diagidio, Kendall Eaker, Keely Mater, Jack Ross, Jake Schoonmaker, Reese Slater, Hannah Squire, and Spencer Stevens. It is truly remarkable to work at a K-12 school and know that we have the opportunity to shepherd students through the entirety of their education. I'm delighted to honor these students with longevity recognition, affectionately known as the Lifer Award. This wonderful group of students has stood the test of time at the Pine School. By virtue of consistency, each has made a positive impact on our community. They've set the tone for our culture as we've welcomed new students and faculty. And through their commitment, they've shown each of us what it means to be a positive role model and a Pine School Knight. Now, lifers, as you graduate, we will celebrate and smile as we can proudly claim your school education as entirely ours. Thank you for being with us. Congratulations to these seniors who have been knights continuously since early learning pre-K or kindergarten. You will see them wearing white cords at graduation. My colleagues and I are so proud of you and wish you well in your next educational endeavor. Thank you. I think that's the biggest group of uh, longevity awards I've seen since my time here. It's really exciting. Now I'm gonna move on to our final awards of our program. First, the Service and Spirit Award. Created in 2010, the Service and Spirit Award honors a graduating senior who exemplifies night pride as well as a spirit of volunteerism. The winner should be committed to the Pine School willing to give time on behalf of the institution and serve as a positive role model for others. The criteria for this award could not be more fitting for this year's honoree, Keely Mater. <laughs> she embodies in all she does a spirit of service and commitment to being a role model. Keely, who was just recognized with the Longevity Award, has grown up at the Pine School. We had the privilege of watching her mature as her passion for environmental activism grew. Through River Kids, she's volunteered countless hours to better our environment and work towards solutions. This young woman affects change. When Keely turns her tenacity to her pursuits at school, we benefit from her subtle leadership in academics, athletics, and student life alike. Keely is a three-sport athlete who motivates her teammates and remains calm and positive in the face of any opponent. Keely's teachers can count on her to elevate the learning environment in any classroom. Keely's peers know she will be a good friend and get them organized when they need it. She helped us rally our environmental efforts on campus and was dedicated to planning for homecoming and other activities. For me, I'll always see Keely atop gold's inflatable duck mascot on field day. Go Gold and Go Keeley, your commitment to service and the spirit with which you undertake it will undoubtedly steer your course from here. We can't wait to see what you will accomplish in the world beyond and know you will continue to be a role model as a Pine School alumna. Thank you, Keeley. The Head of School Award is given by the Pine School's faculty to a senior who is an outstanding role model in academics, spirit, arts, and athletics, and who positively influences both faculty and students on a consistent basis. 
This year's Head of School Award recipient is indeed an outstanding role model in every aspect of school life. Mature beyond his years and motivated by honor and integrity, this young man has elevated so much of what we do at the Pine School. The faculty are as impressed with his intellect as they are by his character. He speaks up to right a wrong and understands what it means to be a good friend and team member. There are many stories I could offer about why this student is honored today. And it's not just because he's always in uniform. The faculty notice when this young man puts others before himself and steps up to fill a need. He sincerely wants to help the school be its best. For example, he volunteered and trained to beat goalie for his soccer team when they didn't have one. His athleticism and sportsmanship have elevated our teams for countless seasons, whether he's a top player on the golf team or cheering from the sidelines. The faculty and I are grateful that this lifer has made a positive impact on our community for so many years. Please join me in congratulating Michael Diagidio. No, you're good. You can go. And now for the Potsdam Award. This is the final award for our program. The Potsdam Award is the highest award given at the Pine School. The faculty and I honor a student today who has shaped our school and led her class since early learning. We've been celebrating her accomplishments for years. And so rather than recounting them now, what I am going to try to do instead is explain why the deliberation about whom this award would go to this year was the shortest conversation the faculty have ever had. <laughs> an unparalleled academician, an accomplished musician, a leader among her peers, and a fierce athlete, this, the young woman we honor today excels in everything we promote at the Pine School. However, she is getting our top award because she is all of that and is also beautifully humble and kind. The faculty knows she's the right person for this award, and so do her classmates. Those in the class of 2022 with her won't be jealous and question the decision because she lifts them up, brings them together, and is a constant force for what is good. We are all in her debt for the example she has set. Congratulations to our 2022 Potsdam Award winner, Hannah Squire. Thank you so much to everyone, students, faculty, staff, parents, and guests who have joined us at our assembly to pay tribute to all our honorees. It is spectacular to take time like we do on this occasion to celebrate our students and all they have achieved. Also, thank you too to those who have helped prepare and plan for this event. Mr. Carlson, your work with this program was incredible. Students, as we close out our assembly today, Please know how very proud we, the adults in your lives, are of each and every one of you. You all have unique gifts that come together to make the Pine School the extraordinary place for learning that it is.